Happy day, everybody. Well, evening, whatever you want to call it. Anyway. So, um, how am I going to say this? Uh, basically, this video is for anybody who's part of the IUIC. First off, I just want to give you some updates. <laughs> uh, basically, on April 20th, the, well, Sal Showtime, you know, the host for Debate Talk for You, has said that the IUIC is actually going to show up on a radio show for the Soldiers of God hot seat. It's going to be the first hot seat where it's going to have n multiple people. Basically, it's going to have us as a whole team. We're going to be there. They're supposed to be calling in on the radio, right, on the Blog Talk radio. However, this is the exact reason why I'm making this video, because I'm officially inviting you guys to have the longest airtime to have a talk. Why do I say this? Because everyone pretty much knows that when it comes to any kind of dialogue, um, any kind of official debate, any uh, discussion of what you believe, you don't do it. You don't show up. The only time I've seen any kind of IUIC do anything is when they have to debate people that pretty much are not very good at whipping their tail. This is the reason why I, I myself and a lot of other people pretty much laugh at a lot of those old debates that, you know, your quote unquote Bishop Nathaniel would actually do. Everyone knows all you got to do is just YouTube the stuff and they basically dialogue with people who are way in their late 70s. People who are in the sunset time of their lives. And they really don't know much of what you know and you get you guys make these huge flyers about it thinking it's some epic thing that's that's hogwash I mean it's terrible the only other time you guys do things are on the streets where you guys like to edit all the parts where people stump you like me for example around two years ago somewhere around here in Pittsburgh I actually had a nice long talk with some members of the IUIC now, as of probably about two months ago, somebody who was actually once a part of that camp phoned me up. So this is years later now. This is like two months ago, right? He phoned me up and said to me, listen, I want to let you know what happened after you left. And I said, well, what happened? He said, well, the guys basically said, listen, whoever that Christian was, he's an upgrade. So because of that, we're going to have to dig deeper into our studies. And he said that's one of the reasons why you really can't find that video online. And I actually searched. So I'm basically calling you guys bluff. I won't be surprised if you don't show up. Another thing I like to say is, is that there has been some progress. I can see why you guys definitely don't like Brother Marcus. Brother Marcus, now a lot of times, you know, we actually do a lot of background work. You can actually, you know, ask Mama Cherry about this. She's the one that basically does most of it. You know, I, myself, and the other brothers, we definitely help out when we can. But she actually hears some cases of individuals who, you know, for all intents and purposes, their lives are ruined because of, you know, the way that you guys go about uh, couples in your church and ministry. Um, how can I say this? Brother Marcus has spoken to seven individuals so far. And like I said, I pretty much can see why you guys don't like him. Because every single time Brother Marcus ends up talking to a couple or someone who wants to go into the IUIC, any other one who does not, and therefore they call us, um, pretty much Brother Marcus always wins. They always turn back. They turn away from your false church, which is great for us. Um... And so I can definitely see why you guys just don't like him. Um, but you guys will be seeing Brother Marcus do a lot more things this year. Uh, another thing I'd like to say is, this is for all Hebrew Israelites, okay? No matter what kind of, you know, uh, area you're at. No matter what kind of camp you're at. About, let's see.